What's up, you guys? It's me. I'm back. He's back and he's got a new shirt. Yeah, just for the week, you guys. It's going to be fun. So I'm just going to cut to the chase, you guys. This is season two, Stand Up Revolution. And I wanted to show you guys some amazing comics that were on my show this past, uh, this past year. You're going to love them. You're going to enjoy them. I'm going to kick it off right now with a very funny man. He's traveled all over the world. And if he hasn't, you're going to see him soon. Give it up for Mr. Dove Davidoff. I think what we're all asking one another is, uh, you know, why do gay guys often look like they just smell cookies? Did somebody just make? It's like, no, you're gay, there are no cookies. I love the gay man. Um, I don't know, you know, I was walking around the casino earlier and I saw, I saw, I saw people with kids. See all these kids walking through. I'm like, could, could people call it with the kids? Not everybody has to have a kid. Not everybody. If you're not psychologically outfitted to raise a child, cool it, because you're just burdening everybody else with your issues. I'm walking around this casino, and the kids are there looking at a slot machine next to his mother. It's like, this, it, must everybody have a kid? Is traffic not bad enough? They're chopping down forests all over the world to make room for more people. You know what I mean? In China, there's limited room for panda bears. I don't want to live in a world without pandas. Every time you have a baby, a panda dies. Cool it with the kids, man. You know what I mean? And then everybody's like, my friend just had a kid. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, oh, you got to try it. It's like, do I have to try it? Is that something I should try? What's it, a new kind of weed? What if I don't like it? Can I put it out? <laughs> nah, he's messing up in school. You take him. What do you mean, try it? And then everybody goes, oh, I didn't plan on it. I didn't plan on having a kid. I just wish somebody would plan this out once in a while. Nobody ever bought an animal without planning on it. I've never been walking home with a horse and my landlord is like, hey, you live in a one bedroom. I'd be like, my bad, I didn't plan this purchase out right. Ah, come on, Trigger. I know the elevator's a little small. We're gonna have to fit. I didn't plan it right. Stop it, man. Can't we have a screening process? Just some sort of basic questionnaire. You wanna have a baby? Fill it out. Do you have, are you a complete screw up? Yeah, no babies for you, man. No babies. And then everybody's like, they're like, how do we define who's a screw up and who's not? Let's start here. Are you in and out of prison on methamphetamine related felonies? You are? No babies for you. You know? And by the way, if you take the Bible or the Quran, literally word for word, no babies for you either. And you know who else? If you think Red Lobster is a legitimately good restaurant, I like it too, but no babies for you. It's just that we're always, we're always, everybody's celebrating. Everybody gets caught. Everybody's celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day, and that's great. We should celebrate it. That's a hard job. But can we also celebrate a day of self-restraint? A day where somebody just said to themselves, I'm not cut out for this. I'm not going to burden the world with my issues. Can we have a national pullout day? Just, ah! Have a good life, everybody. Thank you for listening. Well, there you have it, you guys. Uh, Dove Davidoff, the man is hysterical. You should follow him or he's going to follow you because that's how he does it. So hit him up on Twitter or hit me up on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe there, 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 or there. Wherever the you know, editor decides to put the button, we'll make it happen. We'll see you guys next week right here. We've got another season, so get ready for at least another eight great episodes of uh, Stand Up Revolution, the highlight show. See you next week. We saw you on the YouTubes. I was like, wow, I didn't know there was more than one YouTube.